Hi folks, thank you for joining me once again. My name is Nick on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, depending on where you are in the world. And we're going to be playing Wimbledon's Championship Tennis, published by Sega in 1993, known as just Wimbledon uh, in Japan. It did have a sequel called ATP Tour Championship Tennis from 1995, but as you can guess, it's a tennis game of singles or doubles here, but essentially... It's a licensed tennis game from Wimbledon on the old grass courts. Now, it's licensed for the Wimbledon Tennis Association, but there's no official license from any of the players. So it's going to be a load of made-up ones. Now, on tennis games, I tend to be a little bit rubbish, and it's a bit lucky if I can actually win a point, especially on the new ones. Maybe we should put this bounce pointer on, which will tell you where the ball's going to land. That might help. And I might input my name also. Now, we've reviewed... Previously, three other Sega Mega Drive tennis games. There was Pete Sampras Tennis from 1994, Andre Agassi Tennis from 1992, and Jennifer Capriati Tennis from 1992. Well, I'm going to put my name in as uh, Nick here. Yes, here we go. No, Sampras, he won Wimbledon seven times, I think. Agassi won it once in 1992. He always come up in the final against Sampras, which is a bit of a problem for him. I don't think Jennifer Capriati won it at all. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she might have got to the quarter or semi-final at some point. So this is 1993, smack in the middle of all those other ones. These games aren't about expert gameplay, they're about seeing how you would have got on on your first or second go uh, and see is it worth tracking down or would you have gone back to uh, this one. Jennifer Capriati Tennis was brilliant, uh, the other two were sort of like, okay. Uh, we'll see if this uh, stands out. Uh, right, so welcome to Wimbledon, we can't go anywhere else. This is our stats here. Uh, yes, you've got to gradually build your play, you do exhibition, which we're doing, you do tournaments. Uh, there, but none of these players you'll recognise in the real world because they don't exist. So we'll be using all the buttons on this uh, controller here, smashing and, uh, well, I'll just be trying to hit it over the net, to be honest with you. We'll do it all on manual, which a newbie shouldn't do. Uh, that means i would be doing all my serving uh, uh, myself. Yes, I will do that. Uh, I've got, it's all about timing. Now, where you position yourself where the X is on the bounce are depending on where you land. So, versus C Selnik, first of all. Nick versus Selnik. Well, it's the battle of the Nicks here. Nick, 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 Nick. Right, I'm down the bottom, but we will change ends. I'm scared already. We're on grass. Not AstroTurf. Boof! Right, oh my god. Uh, oh, I've hit it back already. That's good. He's tried to lob me. Can I get this? Yes. Okay. So, quite often when I start a new tennis game, I'm not even hitting the thing, so it started off quite promising. Speech is okay. Doesn't seem like an English person, though. Right, okay. Yes! No, it's gone out, isn't it? Out! Yeah, love buddy. Speech is always good in a game. This doesn't play too badly, first of all. Looks like there's a bit to master. Uh, the ball's hit me uh, there. Love 40. So, matches, I think, normally, in a grand sound, they're best of three sets, but I don't think we'll play fully three sets here, because it's my battle not to lose six love, six love, six love. If you had this game back in the day, let me know. one boy! And now, there, there is uh, different buttons to hit here for lob, fade, drop shots and stuff. I'm just trying to knock it over the net to try and get a, a, a near enough rally. Should have put my surname here. I should have done N and then my surname. Oh, well. Let's go. So, there's no clay courts here. There's no indoor courts. I'm up the other end now, which makes it extra tricky. Biff. Well, that must be... Oh, that was... Yay. Great return by me, cause problems. There's the ball girls and ball boys running around the place. They're desperate for some action. New balls, please. Well, there's the do your own jokes there. Oh, I missed it. It went straight past. 15 Oh, right. Come on, Nick. Come on, let's break, sir. Cool, that's a good old serve. 30 15. Come on, Nick. Return it. Return it. Oh, man. I'm being made to look like a nincompoop here. If you've, if you've uh, won the tournament, then show off below, but all tennis games are similar, but they're slightly uh, different. I do like the scrolling between it. There's the Wimbledon crowd there with their strawberries and ice cream, probably, uh, clapping along. So it's 2-0. It's going to be 6-0, isn't it? But at least I won the odd point. Uh, the most basic game I think I played of tennis is on the ZX Spectrum called Match Point. No, I lie. It's Pong, isn't it? Pong on maybe the Atari 2600 or wherever I played it on. I played it on the Spectrum as well. Pong, that's the most basic tennis game. And this is where we were in 1993. Wait. No, I'm not saying way. I got beaten there. Love for... Oh, God. Come on, Nick. Come on. I'm up the top there. I'm serving. Biff. Fault. 
Oh no! Fault! Double fault. Double fault. Oh, I was trying to be too clever. I should have done a slightly lighter one. It's all in the time in here, so I've got it all to do. I'm love faulty down. I've gone into the net and the game's won by receiver. See, not even the umpire knows everyone's name. Get it right, umpire. At least do your research. So you can play doubles and you can play singles. Oh, God. Right, okay. Put your favourite tennis game below. I already said that. I might have done. Um, um, on the Game Boy Advance, there's Droopy Tennis, which is a little bit boring. I'm very, very happy. It says Droopy, the most depressing character of all time. But this is different. These are non... I suppose the characters might change in their hairstyle, but I guess the animation's going to be the same. Oh, come on, Nick. Let's try and win some points. I'm down the bottom. I'm wearing the... I'm wearing... If you get confused, I'm wearing the dark T-shirt. And we're falsely loved down. I'm the one that's losing all the points if you get confused. I should have lied. I should have pretended I was the other one. You never would have guessed. There they go. There's the crowd going mad again. Cliff Richard is in there somewhere, threatening to sing Summer Holiday if it rains. We're all going on a summer holiday. Right. Set one, game five. Yes, if you're in Japan, I suppose there might be some tennis games that just come out in the Australia and maybe the US, which just control, just contain their separate opens. Um, I would have liked to see other other ones here, but uh, yeah, do have a look at Jennifer Capriati tennis. I like, I like that one. That's uh, I can't remember them all now. They all play quite similar, but I like, I think I like that one. Andre Agassi, I found it the hardest to return the ball. Biff. But no real reason to own all of them, I wouldn't think, unless you're a tennis nincompoop mad person. Oh, come on, Nick. You, to, to, to get a bit better at this, although I'm not one to give advice, you really need to look at the blue cross there and position yourself either behind it to do a straight shot, slightly left to do left, or, or put it right and vice versa. So you really, you don't really need to look at your opponent. You just need to see where the blue cross is going down. There it is. Oh, I didn't return that. It was straight into the body, Bill Oddy. Uh, boof. Oh, come on, Nick. I'm just. I need a bigger. I need a bigger tennis bat. Is that the official term? I think it might be. So yes, yeah, not about Xbox gameplay. Seeing how it played, you couldn't really argue. We bought this back in the day. It's got good speech. It's got the various shots there. You just need to practice to get a bit better at it. And every time I, I do a shot uh, there back over there, I do uh, I get a little bit happy. Bye bye, Saba. What's up with that guy? Anyway, I fancy uh, it's like maybe some orange juice or half a banana. Six love. I told, I did tell you. I did tell you it'd be six love. Now, if you're liking your Mega Drive stuff, you might, you might just watch Mega Drive only. You might watch all the all the videos. But if you're into your Mega Drive stuff, we have got a playlist. Don't uh, well. Uh, dedicated to that along with all the other systems to get to the playlist you click on my username takes you to the channel page and there's a playlist tab click on that thank you to the subscribers uh, if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so because that helps this dodgy gameplay and nonsense chat continue continue oh look at that shot that wasn't very clever massive thank you and shout out to all the members you know you know that you're you uh, thank you very much thank you it's all about beating stress, folks, and losing at tennis, of course. Boom. Right, come on, Nick. Oh, no. I do like the sound of wind rushing as you miss the ball. Not so if you're playing in real life, that is for sure. Diddly diddly dee. So there seems to be some inevitability in the scoreline. This this bit in between is annoying me a little bit. Diddly din. But what can you expect, really? So, you know, 1993... I can't off the top of my head think of any other tennis games on the Mega Drive, uh, separate from what we've done already, but I presume there must have been some, because whenever there was a tennis tournament, they'll know that a tennis game would shift a few copies. So certainly, uh, of those ones uh, we've mentioned, there's certainly of athletes and tennis players of the day. It's Pete Sampras, Andre Agassi, Jennifer Capriati, and this one hasn't got any names to it at all, so it must have been the cheapest one to do. 40-15... Oh, I, uh, that ball, uh, perhaps I should give all the ball, they look like ball girls around the place, maybe I should give all them a racket and they could help too, so we're all, we're all playing against him. 1-0 to Selnick, he isn't the best player in the world, but you know, some people might argue, quite rudely, that I'm not the best uh, tennis player in the world either. Boom, kaboom, right, yes, good, good, uh, uh, hey, right, okay. 
15 love. I'm on target to win this game, aren't I? Don't do anything silly. That's down the line. Oh, I thought I was going to win there. Yes! So the rallies are gradually getting longer as I'm getting used to the play. In all tennis games, it's, no, it's gradually learning... Oh, look at that. It's learning a few shots uh, there and then knowing which ones uh, beat your opponent and doing them over and over again. You really need to use that lob a bit better when they rush into the net. On grass in the real tennis game, uh, um, serve and charge into the net is often a good thing to do. Here it looks like it's going to get you into trouble. Uh, grass isn't running particularly fast. It's got in a nice high bounce. Doesn't normally do that on grass. So whether it's an accurate simulation of lawn uh, tennis, I do not know. Uh, oh yeah, I mean, I still need to check out the sequel, ATP Tour Tennis 1995. If you play this one, let me know how does it differ from this. Is it more or less the same or is it a bit better? So I'm running around the court now. Keep an eye on the blue thing. That blue bounce cross. You can turn that off if you want for a bit of a higher challenge. Uh, on the options, you saw that I did it everything on manual. Uh, maybe as a newbie, it's best to do everything on automatic to at least you get a little bit uh, better. It's a bit ambitious by me, but at least you've seen a little bit of how the game would go. Now he's not that out. I've got two points. Well, I've got one point in this game. Firstly, 15, right? I'm the one with 15. He's not that out wide. I'm covering the court a bit better, but I need to t position myself a bit better for the actual uh, bounce. It sounded a bit like a baboon when he did that bit. Boof! Oh no! Game one by Sava. Sounds like a military person, that. Diddly diddly dee. This is the most annoying bit of the game. Diddly diddly dee. Set two, game five. We won't play three sets here. We'll just we'll just do two sets. Let's see if I can come back. Great serve by me, and not a good follow up by again uh, me. Look at the umpire. Is that a light above him, or is it just a shower unit? Yeah, look at that umpire. Oops, I got distracted there. That umpire on the right sitting underneath a shower unit. Let's turn that on and get him soaking wet. Ha ha ha! So we'll have the last laugh. Out. Love forty. This isn't a very good uh, uh, game for me. Red. Yes. At least get up. Yeah, that's good. Well, at least we've got one point. The crowd is going to start booing me soon. Actually, that's the one thing that's missing from this. There's no crowd cheering, is there? Can't hear them. It's almost as if there's no one there. Oh, there's a bit of cheering at the end. Right. Thanks, lads. In your blue, red, white and grey tubs. So this could be the last game. Unless I come back and win the whole thing from here. No one's won from six love down. Rude. Because I'm not playing the third set. That's for sure, Jeffrey. 15 love. Right, just I'm down here. Let's just return it. Got that returned. Good. Not hitting the ball. Oh. Good. Good. Keep it go out. Right. Game on. It's the comeback. Rocky comeback. Did 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 did. Oh no. What was she saying about comeback? I don't know. So what can we say about this game? Well, it, it's good animation. It's no. Um, it's pretty similar to the other ones. It's a bit easier than some of the tennis games as well. So, you know, it's okay. I prefer Jennifer Capriati, which uh, this is probably equal second place with the other ones I've mentioned. Uh, this scrolling bit is good. It's got a good influence of Wimbledon. If you're into tennis, you would have liked it. If you're not into tennis, maybe it's a tough sell. A bit of a learning curve there, learning all the different moves. Uh, the tournament's a good idea, but desperately needs real-life players. If there's an editor to change all the players' names, that would have been good as well. So it's great. Well, it's OK without being sensational. There we go. I think that's quite fair to say. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Wimbledon Championship Tennis, published by Sega in 1993, known as Wimbledon in uh, Japan. Um, if you want any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome, and I love reading your comments comments. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.